Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess what? The camper hunt continues. And look what I have behind me. It looks like a Transcend, but it's not. It's the MAV Momentum, Momentum Adventure Vehicle. It's actually made just the same as a Transcend. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you an extensive walkthrough with tons of information about the MAV, and then you'll just have to stay tuned to see if this is the camper that we choose. Buckle up, Buttercup. We're gonna start off with just a brief walkthrough so you can see the layout of the unit. Um, but as you can see, just right off the bat, look at this space. I cannot, I mean, I, I can on my tippy toes. I'm 5'6", and I cannot touch the top with my fingertips because it's much taller than the typical Transcend. It's also much wider. It's 101 inches wide, which makes this thing the perfect toy hauler. It all has pocket doors, so you're not losing any space with hinge doors. You got a nice bathroom, and then here you have the kitchen and living area. Now, if you've seen any of my other walkthrough videos, you know I'm the queen of storage, and this thing has a ton of it. What's really awesome is that they really thought the design of this through. Usually on the transcends, right above here is where you could expect the microwave. However, it's not here. They actually moved the microwave right over here, with some other storage space. So you gain a lot more cabinet space for storage all along through this corner. Tons of space. Then right here, you have the solar powered refrigerator. We all know how much I love this. It's so convenient when you go boondocking. You got a nice big freezer and a nice big refrigerator. I love this refrigerator because it is battery powered and it has a manufacturer installed solar panel. So it'll automatically recharge the battery. Really like that. Here's some more cabinet space all in here. Lots of drawer space. A little bit later in this video, I'm gonna convert this all the ways that this thing could be. You could have this be a bed, you can have it be completely up, you can have it be the dining room area, another bed come down. But before I show you all that, I wanna dig in a little bit deeper and show you the master bedroom of this unit and the bathroom. Let's check out this bathroom. It is actually pretty roomy. One of the things I really like about the Grand Design Transcend style bathrooms are this huge skylight. I mean, it's a good thing I have these sunglasses on. In fact, I could probably take them off, but you don't have to use your battery power or your electricity to have lights on during the day to take a shower. You can see just as much as you need to see with this skylight. Lots of room here, plenty of counter space. You also have the cabinet up here, some drawer space here, and then more cabinet space. So that's the bathroom, pretty self-explanatory. There is a towel holder in here, which is a great addition. Um, that's coming from a mom of three kids. You always need a towel holder. Now here is the master bedroom area. You're gonna recognize this if you're a Transcend owner. It's set up very similar. If you go here, you have your closet space where you can hang up your shirts. And then you have some drawer space here. But if you look here, wait a second, there's no outlets, no, no USB outlets. There's a reason for that. If you come along right here, there's a little hidden storage area in this unit. This is great if you have a CPAP machine or if you have guns or something that you don't necessarily want out in the open. On each side, this is where you can find the outlets, the USB charging ports, and then just some behind the closet storage. This is on both sides of the bed. The storage solutions don't stop there. Of course, you're gonna have your under bed storage, which is plenty big enough for really any of your needs. And then there's an additional closet right here. You have this nice big closet here with hanging storage, and then you have a cubby and two drawers. Tons of storage. You also have the overhead storage of the bed, so really there's an endless amount of storage. The one thing I do like about the bedroom windows is that they're so large. Look at that. Every single window in this unit does open. I just find that really nice because on a day like this, on a Florida day like this, where it's nice and sunny and like 72 degrees, it's a perfect time to open up those windows. Now that I got the main walkthrough of this unit done, it's time to dig in to the toy hauler portion of this RV. If you stuck with me this long and you're a Transcend owner or love a Transcend, you're gonna realize that this is almost identical to all the Transcends out there. Yes, it's a different floor plan, but a lot of this stuff looks the same. Well, that's because it is. It's a momentum because it is a toy hauler. For Grand Design, the momentum is the Mac Daddy. It's known to be a toy hauler. So essentially, this is a Transcend, but it's also a toy hauler. 
Before I get into the measurements of how wide and high and what type of vehicles fit into this toy hauler, I'm gonna show you all the different ways that this could be laid out. The way you see it right here is the typical dining area. You can easily remove the table and make it just a lounging area and living room area. Now I'm gonna move this table out into the little porch area right here. Now I'm gonna convert this area to a sleeping space. It's actually really easy. Flip it over, flip these out. There's one bed. You can easily keep this side just one bed and keep this a couch, but if you're gonna have a lot of people, then you may wanna convert this one into the bed as well. It does look like it's one big bed, but you do have this space in the middle, so essentially it's two beds. You can easily fit four adults on here if you have kids, depending what their size is you could fit a ton on here. You also have an additional bed on top. You just have to remove these pins and pull it down. Come over here, pull this down, and look at that. Look at all the sleeping area you just gained. We got it back just to like a living room type area. You can use this as a couch. Now let's dig into the numbers on how wide and how tall this unit actually is. So we went and found a tape measure. It has seen better days. So instead of you watching me 10 minutes trying to get this thing out to measure, I went ahead behind the scenes and measured everything already for you. Let's put this thing like over here because clearly it's broken. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the width of this whole trailer is 101 inches wide. It's a whole six inches wider than a typical transcend. From the kitchen sink to this wall, it is 75 inches wide. From the microwave area to this wall, it is 80 inches wide. The whole width of the camper itself is 101 inches wide. The measurement from the floor to the ceiling is 82 inches. From the end of the unit to the refrigerator, it's 13 feet, six inches long. And from the beaver tail, it goes from 81 inches to 76 inches tall. I've been told that a stock general will fit as well as a Maverick, of course, a golf cart and stuff like that. One nice thing about toy haulers is you always get this nice little patio. But what is really nice about the Mav is that you get this pull down screen. Very easy to use. And there's no gaps or worries that bugs are going to get in. If you ever want to just put it back up, all you got to do is kind of just go like that. Bam, it opens up. A couple other features to note is there is a 24 inch beaver tail. It has a Rockford sound system. It has strong wall construction like the transcends and it's a one piece floor construction. That almost wraps up this whole walkthrough of the Mav. But first I wanna show you the pass through storage up here in the front. It looks pretty similar to all the transcends I've seen in the past. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this walkthrough. Is this the camper that we're getting? Can't tell you yet. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. Check out my website, buckleupbuttercuptv.com for merch and all the goodies. And until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup.